Welcome to Wrench Fest Garage. Today we're going to be doing a whole lot of welding. The reason that we're doing so much welding today is because we're going to get rid of the factory bumpers. They are just not going to cut it. So we're going to get rid of them and we're going to step it up to the JCR DIY bumper. This is the bumper we chose. It's from JCR. And this is how it comes in the box. So this is DIY. All the pieces are cut, everything's flat. Basically you just gotta bend it and weld it all together. So let's get after it. This is the main piece here and it says in the instructions that this is the first piece to get bent. So we're gonna clamp it to the bench and we're gonna grab it with a couple of big crescent wrenches and see how it bends. This will be the first bend so this will kind of determine how the whole rest of the project's gonna go. So I'm just going to clamp this to the bench like so. Okay, here we go. Oh yeah. That's not bad. Okay. Other than the clamps in the way. <laughs> this might go smoothly. <laughs> this might not be so bad. If it, if it goes smoothly, it's going to be unlike any other project we've ever done. Okay, we got the first side bent. Now we're going to bend this side up so they're both 90 degrees. It's right here. Okay, this is the next step. These are the side pieces. It says in the instructions that we got to bend this first piece to 90 and this lower piece to 40. Degrees. I have no idea what 40 degrees is. So you really don't need that wrench, do I? So this is what we're using for an angle finder. It's just a Klein tool. I got it at Home Depot. It works pretty good. I don't think I did it wrong. It's just that this piece should mirror this piece. See, that's, that's wrong. So that piece should mirror that piece. Uh, we will need to bend a left and a right, which will end up having two wings that are opposites. We're going to try to unbend this without breaking it. Yeah, it's going to break. You broke the bumper? Broke it already. Screwed up. We're going to use the vise for these bands. It says in the instructions that this one's supposed to be 70 degrees and this one's supposed to be 60 degrees. This piece needs to be bent at 20 degrees. We are struggling with the instructions a little bit. They're pretty good instructions. Maybe we're just kind of idiots. I don't know. Initially I bent this the wrong way and then I bent it back the other way and it broke off all these tabs so we're going to grind those off and we're going to re-tack it get it in the right spot and then continue on To that point where I need to tack the rest of this together, so I'm gonna go ahead and do it and see how it looks. We got the bumper all tapped together and now we're going to pull off the old bumper so we can get the brackets aligned to see how it's going to fit. Okay, I see bolts.
we got some things in the way these little uh, nut inserts here are in the way so the bracket doesn't quite fit flush I'm thinking we don't need those probably cut those off so that fits flush and the next thing is we're not sure if we're going to keep this receiver hitch or not it's stronger it attaches better to the frame it sits lower we're going to put the bumper on and see how it fits how it looks with the receiver on and then we'll consider taking it off or not <laughs> Decided we're going to take the receiver hitch off. It's going to look better and it's going to have a better departure angle. The exhaust is bolted. There's a bracket that bolts the exhaust to right where the receiver bolts to, but not a big deal. We'll drop it down and we'll bolt it right back up after we get the receiver hitch out. <laughs> got everything welded on the bumper it was a pile of welding but it's all finished so now we're gonna put the brackets on the Jeep and decide where the brackets are gonna weld to the bumper and go ahead and weld those on all right we're well, happy with the mounting brackets now we're gonna go ahead and weld them on or at least tack them pull the bumper back off and then we'll permanently weld them on We got this done, we're super thrilled with it. If you like this one, we're gonna be doing the front one next. So stay tuned for that. Thanks for watching.